Hello everyone, I am the Chocolate and God is the Thunder. Because of that, I'll never go under. One of the greatest lessons that I've learned in life as I've gotten older is the importance of loving myself. Love yourself. You see, when we love ourselves, it shows when we love ourselves. See, when we love ourselves, we speak different about ourselves. When we love ourselves, yes, we be accountable for our wrongdoings, but we don't spend a bunch of time in condemnation. Oh, the power of loving thyself. The power of loving thyself is essential. It is essential in every aspect. It really is. How can we have such a great love and relationship with God or with anyone else if we don't have a great love and relationship with ourselves? And I'm not saying love thyself in a conceited way. No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying love thyself and, oh, think I'm better than somebody. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying love thyself in a healthy way, in a healthy form. You see, when I really learned to love myself, I stopped looking for love in the wrong people. I used to be one who used to look for love. Like I would think because people, certain people who didn't want nothing to do with me, because they would show that fake love, I thought it was real. But once I learned to really love myself, I learned I didn't need their fake love. I did not need their fake love. You see, when people know you don't love yourself and they know you're looking for love, they will use you to their advantage. Yes, they will. Don't allow yourself to be anybody's fool. And I said people, okay? You know when you're being used by people. You know when people are not being genuine. You know it. Don't spend a bunch of time not loving yourself. You young ladies, start loving yourself while y'all young. You young gentlemen, same for y'all. Start doing this while y'all are young. Parents, teach your children to love themselves. Teach them how to love themselves. Teach them how to value themselves. Because see, if you don't teach it to them when they get older and they got to go in this world and learn it, you don't want the wrong people. You do not want the wrong people encountering them knowing that they don't value or love themselves. Teach it to them at home. That is important. That's essential to childhood. And how do we teach our children how to love themselves? By encouraging them. We must encourage them. We must be supportive of our children by not being lazy types of parents. By doing something, not just sitting around doing nothing. Listening to the heart of our children. We got to pay attention to children, to what's going on. And not be so blindsided. See, we have to be in tune. We have to really be in tune when it comes to our children. Even if they're not our biological children and we're just taking care of them. We have to be in tune to their heart. very important for children to learn how to love themselves at a young age. How does scripture go? Train up a child in the way it should go. When that child gets older, it will not depart. It will not depart from it. So if a child is not taught to love themselves when they're younger, how in the world are they going to love themselves when they get older? If they're not taught that at a young age. My Lord. And how else do we teach our children how to love themselves? You know, when they do wrong, instead of condemning them, yes, we're supposed to correct children. We're supposed to correct our children when they do wrong, but not condemn them. You know, that condemnation stuff, that does not help a child. That just makes them worse. It really does. Oh, yeah, it does. It really does. 
I remember when I was young doing certain things, I, didn't, I had no business. But when I would hear words of condemnation, words that would make me feel like garbage, it made me not care. Love yourselves.